Sherry Ballard is no stranger to this courthouse. She has been here many times over the years fighting for custody and visitation of her grandson. In fact, on Wednesday, right after learning Brooks Houck had been arrested, she was back here. And today, her and her family returned. It was a smile that was hard to miss. Sherry Ballard emerging from a Nelson County courtroom Friday beaming. Crystal Rogers' mother and two siblings had spent more than two hours behind closed doors. On the other side of those doors, loved ones had waited, wondering if today was the day they'd be reunited with Roger's youngest son. He's been living with his father, Brooks Houck, since Roger's disappeared in 2015. The proceedings related to custody of the boy who turns 11 next month are confidential, and neither side would say how the judge ruled. Houck's mother, Rosemary, ignored our questions while Ballard told us she couldn't comment. Here's what we know. While Brooks Houck was being booked Wednesday on charges of murder and tampering with evidence, Sherry Ballard was at the courthouse taking steps to see her grandson. Her fight to see the little boy began almost as soon as her daughter disappeared. In October 2015, Houck was named a suspect. In the following January, the Ballards filed a motion to keep him from leaving the state with a then three-year-old. At the time, Sherry Ballard and her husband were seeing him every other Saturday, but Roger's four other children weren't allowed to. They're just kind of giving up on seeing him. They're like, are we ever going to get to see him or not? Through the years, Ballard fought for custody and visitation, and in February of 2021, she was denied the right to see her grandson, with the judge ruling, there is clear and convincing evidence significant hostility exists between the Ballard family and Hauk, such that it poses a significant risk of emotional harm to the child. But Ballard never gave up hope Brooks Hauk would be charged with her daughter's murder and that she would once again see her grandson. And Friday's smile was telling. You feel good, Sherry? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. In Nelson County, Lauren Adams, WLKY News.